Previously on The Walking Dead. While searching for a place to call home, AJ and I found an old boarding school run by kids deep in the forest. Their leader was a guy named Marlin, and AJ pulled the trigger. I told AJ he was justified for killing him. The other kids didn't see it that way. They voted to kick us out. I thought we'd never return. Then, AJ and I were attacked by Abel, one of the raiders Marlin had given the twins to. He was with someone I thought I'd never see again. Lily. We were almost eaten by walkers when suddenly one of them spoke to me. His name was James, an ex-whisperer who didn't believe in killing walkers. He helped me treat AJ, but without real medicine, he wouldn't make it. The kids didn't turn away the sad sight of AJ and let us back inside. After I told them how we could defend the school against the raiders, they were willing to let us stay, at least until the fight. I decided to help Lewis tune his piano. He opened up to me, and I admitted I had feelings for him. He had the same ones. Then the raiders finally came. They busted open our gates, but the kids stayed hidden as planned. Until Ten ran out of cover, hoping for a chance to learn about his missing sisters. The bomb went off, and attempting to save Ten, Mitch threw himself at Lily and got a knife to the throat. With only a second to decide, I fired and saved Lewis. They got away with three of our friends, and we had no idea where they'd gone. But we knew someone who did. the start, I was so little, and, and Mitch looked after me. People said he was a dick sometimes, but he was always nice to me. Now he's gone. Mitch was looking after all of us. He gave his life so we could go on fighting. I know that. Doesn't make it any easier. He'd want us to find our friends and bring them home safe. And he'd want us to kill the people who took them. Abel's tied up in the basement. He passed out from the pain. Thanks. AJ wanted to stay down there and keep an eye on him. Hey, buddy. It's time for us to bury Mitch and say our goodbyes. I hope Get can. away from him! You're the reason he's dead! Willie! Well, it's true! We had a plan, and that idiot messed it up! Come on, Willie, none of this is Ten's fault. You know who's really to blame. I can't believe you're defending him! This... This is bullshit! Ten! Let me handle this. Talk to Abel. See if you can't find out where Lily took Vi, Omar, and Asim. I wanted to hurt him, you know, to make him talk, but... I just couldn't. Maybe you'll get more out of him than I did.
got your gun back, huh? Uh-huh. Still want dibs? It's different like this. With them all broken. But I still hate them. <sighs> Ready? Wake him up. The fuck? Wake up, stupid shitting fuckhead. Well, it ain't no way to wake an old man up from his afternoon nap. I was having a nice dream, too. About a girl I used to know from before. She also had me tied up, but I wasn't her prisoner if you get my meaning. <laughs> no offense, but I'd rather go back to my dream, so if you don't mind... Damn it, Squirt. Easy on the broken parts. I don't like your voice. Well, I'm real sorry about that, but it's the only one I got. Cool it, AJ. We need him to talk. But it's justified. Maybe. But follow my lead. <laughs> You've never done this before, have you? You and the devil child just making it up as you go along. Don't make this harder than it needs to be, okay? I just want to know where Lily took my people. It doesn't matter. As soon as she gets there, she's gonna turn around and come right back for me. <laughs> you better give me the five-star treatment. If I'm smiling when she gets here, you might be able to trade me for a little mercy. We underestimated you little shits, but Lily won't make the same mistake twice. We fought Lily off once. We'll do it again. You caught us by surprise. Didn't reckon you'd know how to scrap. Now we know. Just tell us where they took our friends, so we can get them back. <coughs> Lily will never give them up. Only reason we came here was for more manpower. Losing Jonathan and me, for three sprouts that can barely hold a gun. Even a dummy like me can do the math on that one. We're gonna get him back. You don't know what it's like out there. It's a bloodbath. One community against another, from Richmond to the coast. Back at the Delta, we're at war, with some really sick fucks who make me look like the Virgin Mary. We need people to fight it. Soldiers who do what we say, point the guns the way we tell them to. That's called kidnapping. Give it whatever name you want. I call it survival. What kind of place is this Delta if they use forced labor to defend it? You think we like doing raids like this? Our home is under threat. It's a good home. Built to last. I'd do a lot to protect it. Maybe you can understand that. And I'd do a lot to get my friends back. So stop wasting my time. Okay. Front pocket. The answer to all your questions. Read it. Whatsoever parteth the hoof, and is cloven-footed, and cheweth the cud, among the beasts, that shall ye eat? What the fuck? Is this code? No, it's fucking Leviticus. I was hoping it'd be some timely, moralistic shit about turning the other cheek. Well, come on. That thing ain't gonna light itself. Wanna know where your friends are? Smoke will clear my mind. Help me remember stuff. Like where Lily went. Now that is heavenly. <coughs> <coughs> That's a lot of blood. 
Oh, fuck. This is not good. He's gonna die, isn't he? We have medicine. We can still patch him up. I don't think so. When you pushed me off that balcony, something must have burst inside of me. No medicine could fix this. Shit. I never wanted things to end like this. Everything. It all got out of hand. Now look at me. I'm a fucking mess. Will he turn? No. <clears throat> My, my whole life, everything I ever got, I got with my own two hands and my will for my body to turn on me, to take control. I'll tell you where to find Lily. Just promise you won't let me turn. I'm begging you. If you're honest with me, I'll put you out of your misery. You have my word. Okay, we have a boat. We're docked a few miles west of here at an old fishing pier. Your friends are on the boat. <laughs> you, you got what you wanted. Please, don't let me become one of those things. Please, I don't want to turn. You're gonna be stuck in that broken shell of a body forever. You evil cunt! You... You gave me your word! You were stupid to believe me. <laughs> and you were stupid to believe I told you everything! AJ, don't look away. I want you to see this. I want to. Is he still in there? Come on, we have a boat to find. Gambling lots of moves and 
dots around the world Well, it's easier than just a waiting around to die Once we find the boat, we'll look for a way to sneak on board. Yeah, if Ten doesn't fuck it up this time. It wasn't Ten's fault. Yes, it was! Mitch died because he- Say one more thing about Ten. I dare you. Guys, there it is. You see anything? The beach, um, a boat, and a, a wood street in the water. That's called a pier. Hmm. Pier. Okay, let's spread out and focus on those areas. Keep your heads low. Have you ever seen this thing before? No way. Pretty sure I would have remembered an old-timey riverboat. And from where I'm sitting, looks like that pier is the only way inside. Well, let's see what else is down there. There are a few on deck. A couple others on the pier. Could be more inside. Wait! I see Violet! This is really it. We found them. The pier has plenty of cover on it. If we're careful, we can sneak in undetected. I don't see any obvious place to keep prisoners. Don't boats have brigs? Boat tails. Maybe, but where? Now that, I, I, I don't know.
I can see an entrance. Yeah. There's one at the other end of the boat, too. There's a small opening at the top of those closed doorways. AJ and I know how to deal with those. There's no good cover leading up to the boat. We're gonna need one hell of a distraction. Walkers! Now we just need, what, a dozen walkers? How hard could that be? Maybe not as hard as you'd think. Find anything over here? They have horses. Let me see. Are those torches? I think so. Could be easy fire. Setting the hay on fire would get their attention. Scare the horses too. We could get on the boat easier that way. If we cut those horses free, we could slow down anyone trying to chase us. Looks like building material. Furniture. Probably stuff from the train station. Sheet metal, wood, and quite a bit of it. We should have that stuff. They're loading those rafts with supplies. I could cut those loose and just ride them down river. Easy! We should get out of here before they spot us. We can talk through the plan once we're somewhere safe. All right. What's the plan? Well, they've got guards posted on the pier and the boat. There's no way we can take them all at once. Our only hope is to distract them while we sneak on board. We should burn their stuff. That'd work. We could burn the supplies or the hay they keep for the horses. Whatever we don't burn, we should take. Ruby would love to have the horses. But I'd rather steal those supplies. Burn the supplies. We'll take the horses and the hay if we can. Ruby would help with that. She's like a horse whisperer. The fire will lure the raiders away from the boat, and we can sneak across the pier. If anyone sees us, they'll shoot! You remember that guy I told you about, James? He sent in walkers to save us from Lily and Abel. Maybe we could convince him to do it again. If we lead a big enough group of them onto the beach, we can blend in without being seen. Well, hell yeah. Let's find out how much he charges for his services. What about after we get everyone home? I mean, the Raiders will just come attack us again. What then? Hide, quick! Raider. Has to be. You all stay here. I'll see if they know anything that could help us. <laughs> 